I'm John Calamos, founder and global chief investment officer of Calamos Investments. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's one of the uncertainties in the market. As you know, the market has been debating that for uh, a few years here, when our interest rates are going to go up and how, what might happen to the long-term rates uh, if they do start uh, with their uh, buy the bonds in the balance sheet there. So I think it's a risk. Uh, we're looking at that very carefully. Whether it happens or not, it's still an uncertainty. Um, but from a closed-end fund perspective, from a manager of closed-end fund, we actually are, are managing that risk. Uh, we uh, went from short-term rates to locking in a little bit more intermediate-term rates in there to really offset that risk. Because if it happens, though, it would be a positive for the equity markets. Uh, and uh, because GDP growth is really what's going to drive them to do that. And unless we have GDP growth, uh, they shouldn't do it. So that's, that's our, our position right now. Well, I think uh, it's very important because uh, every time I've, in our experience over now 40, 50 years that we've seen interest rates go up, uh, you know, the bond market has gotten hit only two times was the convertible market not doing as well. So almost every other time we saw a positive equity market because rates were going up because of GDP growth. The equity markets would respond to that. And convertible markets, uh, remember, uh, are driven by the equity market as well. So that's one of the benefits of the convertible market is you have the bond, but you have equity upside opportunity. And that's, that's very, very important. Markets are at all time high, that's fine, but people re have to realize that the kind of stagflation we've been in for many, many years. So what we are is worth looking out forward. We think if fiscal policy gets done in here, we, and we get the GDP growth of three and a half to four percent, that this would be positive for the equity markets going forward. Now, uh, we don't think that's priced into the current market, even though the market's at our new highs. So therefore, uh, we're, we're uh, optimistic on happening that. But on the interest rates, we're a little careful in here. Uh, we've been in the lowest interest rate environment that anybody can remember. So we want to make sure uh, that we can manage that risk if that happens. Oh, well, it's, it's really important because the experience in convertible is because of just the, if you look at the trend in the markets that are going up and down, the convertible market could, uh, could be very balanced, you know, good upside, good downside safety, or it could look very much like the equity market in rising markets. So you have to be very careful, or it could look very much like the bond market in declining markets. So uh, convertibles really need to be actively managed. Uh, we want that upside, downside protection no matter where we are in the investment cycle. So if we put that upside downside here and the market rises here, then we want to make sure that we have that downside even with a rising market environment. And that's how we've managed convertibles going back into the 80s and all the way till now to give us that downside protection without a market timing decision. That's what's really important. Well, I think uh, when, uh, when investors look, I think what happens is uh, they get a little uh, myopic on what they're doing. Uh, and uh, we do think that they have to have a global perspective on their asset allocation. Didn't work in 2016. It's working now. Uh, it doesn't work every year, but you have to have that diversification from a uh, global point of view. Uh, when we look at companies, uh, even now, when you look at the companies, everything is global. And, and you have to have that global view. And not every market, obviously the U.S. ran before the others, but now we see emerging markets coming back. We see Europe valuations. So they have to have a global perspective. It's really important. Uh, you know, it's, uh, we're, we, we feel that the, the U.S. market can be positive if, if we can get fiscal policy implemented. I hope they do that. We hear that and they're arguing about it every day. Uh, I don't think it's priced into the current market. So that's really important because if they actually implement that, 
and we do get GDP three and a half, four percent growth, that that can be very positive for the equity markets. And and I think what's happening right now is Europe is trying to mimic the U.S. They brought down interest rates. They they did all that because we're having better growth than they are, and so. It's a very global market from that point of view.